Was that which camera did that? Well, to get that, we it was <laughs> this camera yeah. with this lens. All right. And uh, handheld like this. All right. But to get that photograph, I had to choose a location that got me the uh, the sun shining on the uh, the rocks on the, along the coast, yeah. uh, uh, highlighting the shape of the the hills. And I had to get my altitude to get Mumbala and Guluga sticking up above the horizon. Yeah. I had to be close enough to the ocean to be able to get the, uh, the uh, some three-dimensionality in the picture from the rocks. Right. And then the, the helicopter was ha hovered at exactly the right spot for the picture. And then uh, Carol rotated it whilst I... Oh, you rotated the, the helicopter? The, the helicopter rotated, okay. not the camera. So, okay, and that's all stitched together then? Yeah, it's, oh, it's a beautiful. It's about ten images st stitched together. Right. Beautiful photograph. It's sort of a... I'm pleased you like it. Yeah, it's okay. quite popular. met with a few people and I said look we've got to find that iconic image and someone said well do you know Richard Green? I emailed Richard Green two weeks later here he arrived with his with his wife <laughs> yeah he arrives with his wife uh, with the helicopter and we get our iconic photograph and the beauty of that photograph is it so perfectly illustrates the forested background with the coastal um, the beautiful coast in front, so different to most wonderful coastlines in Australia where all you have is agricultural land or development behind. Mm. Well, I'm pleased that it seems to be working. I know that when I was originally contacted by Prue Acton, uh, she, she wanted a, an iconic image and I explained to her that iconic images don't grow on trees, but mm. we'll see what we can do. <laughs> and I think we're very, we're very lucky with the weather. Yeah, well, it must have been a bit of experience there behind it, though, too, I think. So. Oh, well, not much experience with taking panoramas from the helicopter. That was my first panoramic picture from the helicopter. Really? All of my panoramic work has been done on, on the, the ground, oh, with the, with set the... up carefully with a tripod like this with spirit levels. Oh, okay. So to, get the, to be able to stitch that image together, I had to very carefully make sure the horizon was level on all of the pictures and the same distance down the image on oh. all of the pictures. Otherwise, they would have... Uh, run yeah, yeah. like that or yeah, yeah. being twisted. But that's experience. And it came to me in the middle of the night that time to use beauty and mm. that is to show people the beauty of our forests, what they should look like and what would happen if we continue to log them in the way we are for such a ridiculous uh, use such as wood chipping and the future of course uh, that the industry would love is to burn our native forests for power. I yeah. love all this, you know, as a painter, I just love all these colours and, and so on. Yeah. Yeah. Just inspires us. And yeah. these, these beautiful temperate forests that we have down here inspire so many artists. It inspires tourists, it inspires tourism, and it just shows the way of the future is not about quarrying our land yeah. for logs for trees for anything but it's to value our land and value our forests. <laughs>